last evening, the president once again disparaged the, the, the importance of wearing face masks. He does not wear one usually. Uh, he's conducted rallies in which uh, many of the participants aren't with face masks. He doesn't have a face mask. So let me just ask all of you, um, Admiral, you're a uniformed officer. Is the president providing appropriate leadership when it comes to this critical issue, one of the most uh, direct and important things anyone can do to protect themselves and the, the community from this disease? Well, as a uniformed officer, I'm not going to comment about the president, but I do want to emphasize that wearing a mask is one of the most important things that we can do to prevent spread, particularly because people who are asymptomatic, you could feel totally fine but still be spreading the virus, which is why wearing a mask when you can't physically distance is absolutely critical. And I think I probably speak for my other two colleagues, but you'll want them I want them to, but I think you've just directly contradicted the president's behavior and the president's comments, uh, even though you've done it politely. Doctor? Sir, uh, we're supportive of the mass. That's why we produced uh, half a billion of them and made them available to the American public at large. The answer is, yes. is the president undercutting what is, you've all said and you've repeated, one of the most uh, important steps that Americans can take to defend themselves and the country against this disease? So my, my view is, is that uh, he is an individual who can exercise his rights to do what he pleases as we see others Americans doing that. And so he is... Well, it's also the leader of the country trying to cope with the, with the disease, the pandemic that's co killed over 100,000 people and he's not, he's rejecting this emphatic advice that you give repeatedly and you yourselves demonstrate. Dr. Redfield, your comment? I'm not going to comment directly about the president, but I am going to comment as the CDC director that uh, uh, face masks, these face masks are the most important, powerful public health tool we have. And I will continue to appeal for all Americans, all individuals in our country, to embrace these face coverings. I've said it, if we did it for six, eight, 10, 12 weeks, we'd bring this pandemic uh, under control. These actually, we have clear scientific evidence, they work and they are our best defense. I might even go so far as to say that this face mask is more guaranteed to protect me against COVID that when I take a COVID vaccine, because the immunogenicity may be 70%, and if I don't get an immune response, the vaccine's not gonna protect me. This face mask will. So I do wanna keep asking the American public to take the responsibility, particularly the 18 uh, to 25 year olds, where we're seeing the outbreak in America continue to go like this, because we haven't got the acceptance, the personal responsibility that we need for all Americans to embrace this face mask. Uh, once again, I think you've refuted the president more eloquently than I've heard. Um, you're the expert. Um, leaders have to depend on expert advice. That's why they have people like you there. And when they don't take your advice, in fact, when they disregard it, and it's been said so emphatically here, it's not a question of any doubt at all in, in your views, all of you.